ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله brothers and sisters in islam Welcome again to the story of Hajj. In one of the journeys that Ibrahim alayhi salam made to Mecca, he was commanded to slaughter his own son. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him see a dream that he is slaying his son. And we know that the dreams of prophets and messengers are a form of revelation. فَلَمَّا بَلَغَ مَعَهُ السَّعِي قَالَ يَا بُنَيْ When Ibrahim alayhi, when Ismail alayhi salam was walking with his father Ibrahim, he called upon him and he said to him, My son, يَا بُنَيْ إِنِّي أَرَى فِي الْمَنَامِ أَنِّي أَذْبَحُكَ I see in my dream that I am slaughtering you. Ismail alayhi salam knew that this is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look, Ibrahim alayhi salam wanting his son to be part of the decision. He trusted him that he will not compromise the principles on which they base their lives that Allah always comes first. If Allah, brothers and sisters in Islam, does not come first in your lives, fitna will overtake you. قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ أَوْ أَبْنَاؤُكُمْ أَوْ إِخْوَانُكُمْ أَوْ أَزْوَاجُكُمْ أَوْ عَشِيرَتُكُمْ وَأَمْوَالٌ اِقْتَرَفْتُمُوهَا قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ وَأَبْنَاؤُكُمْ وَأَزْوَاجُكُمْ وعشيرتكم وأموال اقترفتموها وتجارة تخشون كسادها ومساكن ترضونها أحب إليكم من الله ورسوله فتربصوا Tell them, O oh Muhammad, صلى الله عليه محمد If your fathers, your children, your wives, your wealth, your family, your tribe, your trade, your homes Eight things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named in this verse in Surah At-Tawbah are more beloved to you than Allah. Then rest assured that you will be tested. Brothers and sisters in Islam, a statement that I share with you. Whatever you love most of this dunya, if you love it more than Allah, Allah will test you through it. Allah will place you through a fitna. Because of what you love more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will be placed where you have to choose between it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what happened to Ibrahim. He loved Ismail dearly. He finally had the son that he wanted. But here is, he is to be placed to the test. Oh Ibrahim, Ismail, or Allah. Allah always came first, brothers and sisters in Islam. And that is why Allah always delivered him. Not only spared Ismail, he given him the glad tiding of Ishaq. And after Ishaq, Yaqub. See, if you place Allah first, Allah will make you keep what you have and he will give you more. Here he is, through a dream, a dream. And 
it's it's hard shaken to go and kill your own son with your own hand but it's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no compromises no if no buts once it comes to the com- to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Ibrahim alayhi salam came to me story of Sufyan al-Thawri, one of the predecessors, one of the imams. He had a son. So as his son was walking in front of him, he made this wish inside his chest. He's one of the scholars of hadith, Sufyan al-Thawri, rahimahullah. He said, Ya bunay, ala tamutu fa'ahtasibuk. He knew that if a child dies for a father. Hadith fil Bukhari. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would send the angels to this person. And Allah knows best what he is going through. And he would then ask them, the angels, after they report back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what my servant is doing as a reaction to me taking away the apple of his eye, his heart away. Faldat kabidi. He will say, Ya Rabbi. He's saying, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, built for him a house, a mansion in paradise, a mansion in paradise, a mansion in paradise, and call it the mansion of Alhamd, of the praise, the house of the praise. So Sufyan al-Thawri made that wish, a thought that went through his chest. You know what happened? His son died. You know what he said? Because of the grief and sorrow. Kuntu Abu Ludama. I was urinating blood because of the grief and sorrow that I had for my son because of his death. But dear fathers, dear mothers, the reward of you being patient because of the death of your child is tremendous in Islam. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ibrahim alayhi salam takes Ismail in some of the accounts there that shaitan came to him trying to tell him, come on, this is a dream. And that's where casting pebbles, jamarat, see the rituals? If you understand the history behind it. So, when shaitan comes to you, trying to take you away from executing the commands of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, what should you do? Cast jamara at him and say, Allahu Akbar. You see, we were taught to say, Allahu Akbar, as we cast the jamarat, the pebbles. Allah is greater than you, O shaitan. Allah is greater than the thing that you're trying to deceive me because of, O shaitan. Ibrahim alayhi salam thrown these pebbles at shaitan in three locations in the area of Mina. Remember this, brothers and sisters in Islam. For every pebble that you throw, remember one thing that you cannot execute. A command that Allah commanded you to do, but yet you're still hesitant. Seize the opportunity in Hajj. And with every pebble, say Allahu Akbar, and intend in your heart that you will carry out this command. Like Ibrahim did. Yes, he thrown the pebbles into shaitan, and at the same time he was saying, I will execute, I will execute. And yes, he did brothers and sisters in Islam. He took his son Ismail. Something, before I end with the conversation that he had with Ismail, has to be mentioned here. A righteous husband plus a righteous wife equal a righteous son. Odds are very slim, very, very rare. Ibrahim, Rajulun Salih, Hajar, Imra'atun Saliha, Waladun Salih. Look, Ya Bunay, my son, 
I see in my dream that I am slaughtering you. What do you say? فَانْظُرْ مَاذَا تَرَى Look like his mother. What did his mother say? Oh Ibrahim, did Allah, أَعَمَرَكَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا Yes, go! Allah will not waste us. Look at his son. Look at her son. قَالَ يَا أَبَتِ فَعَلْ مَا تُؤْمَرْ Oh Allah, do as you commanded. ستجدني, you will find me. إن شاء الله. Allah is willing. من الصابرين. Amongst the patient. Brothers and sisters in Islam. Amazes you. In some of the accounts. That the face of Ismail عليه السلام. Was to his father as he was. Placing the knife in his throat. And because of the feeling of a father. Towards his only son. And we say to the people of the book, yes, the only son at the time cannot be but Ismail, not Ishaq. We love Ismail and Ishaq alike. But in their book, those who deviated it, those who re- written it, they made a mistake. They placed the word only towards the sacrifice son. And the, the only son who can be named only son is Ismail. Because Ishaq came later. Ismail tells his father, brothers and sisters in Islam, my father. Place me on my face so that you will have more courage in carrying out the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, out of this world, out of this world. Brothers and sisters in Islam, once more, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was testing Ibrahim alayhi salam. Once more, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivers Ibrahim alayhi salam and delivers Ismail alayhi salam. وَفَدَيْنَاهُ بِذِبْحٍ عَظِيمٍ We called upon him, O oh Ibrahim, you have fulfilled the command and we given him two rams from paradise to slay instead of his son. Not only this, we given him the glad tidings of another son, Ishaq. Till the next episode of the story of Hajj. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.